It's time to fire this thing up. Good deal, you made it. Hi, I'm John Graviscus. It's great to have you back aboard the boat. What I'm on is a very special fishing boat. It's 39 foot in length. And what they do here, this is a nonprofit ministry where they bring inner city kids and lower income people that have never had the opportunity or the experience to go out into the Atlantic Ocean and catch fish. And what's really cool about it is they never charge a penny for any of these services. It's all complimentary, it's all based on donations. And I would like to introduce you real quick to the captain. This is Captain Tony. John, like and, and Tony, what make is this boat and what year was it built in? The good news is a uh, 1984 Spencer walk around fisherman, twin diesel. All right, and you, you operate solely on people giving you contributions and stuff like that. And we want to try to help today too. What area of the boat are you really having an issue with today? Our main issue is the deck. The deck is kind of slick, and when we get any fish blood on there or any type of fish on the deck, it becomes very slippery, and it's very challenging for the crew and the children not to slip on the deck. So uh, any type of uh, non-skid application would be very advantageous to us. I've been looking around the boat, and I've also seen some cracking. It appears to me that the original paint for this deck is an epoxy type of uh, product that does turn brittle. And what we want to do to kind of help out the cause is we would like to redo your deck for you using a product called Tough Coat. Now what's so cool about this is not only does it give you incredible non-skid, but it's very comfortable to walk on. It's not like sand or anything like that. And it's actually green. You know, they're, they're making it from ground up tires, keeping them out of landfill. And that's how you get your traction. It's water-based, so it's not gonna hurt anything. Very good for the environment. But not only are we gonna show you how to redo a deck, especially if you have spider crack issues, and a lot of us boaters do, but we're also gonna get around the dock. A lot of people have pressure-treated lumber where it has started to disintegrate. Really, it's costly to remove it and to replace it. We're gonna show you how this tough coat can actually work on docks as well. Who's using Tough Coat Marine for their boat decks? The Navy, the Coast Guard, commercial boats, fishing boats, pontoon boats, aluminum boats, and center consoles. Tough Coat Marine is cooler on your feet, rubberized for comfort, super durable, hides flaws and cracks, offered in 20 popular colors. Do it yourself, make it look better, last super long, all for less. If you're gonna treat it tough, treat your deck with the world's number one rubberized non-skid, Tough Coat Marine. Available online or at these major retailers. Welcome back. This is a real working 28 acre boatyard slash boat building facility residing in Stewart, Florida. It's Shipshape TV's home base. Ideally located, the complex is situated on the shores of the Okeechobee Waterway, which happens to connect the Atlantic Ocean to the Gulf of Mexico. Now, once again, here's the founder and host of Shipshape TV, John Graviscus. Like always, Buck, great introduction. Welcome back. We are trying to add some traction to a fishing boat that is kind of a non-profit organization. They take a lot of kids that have never been fishing before out into the ocean. And we want to kind of give them some stability, give them some confidence when they're out there because not everybody's really sure-footed. And that leads us to our next guest who's right over here. This is Bill Duffel. And Bill is the owner of a company called Tough Coat Marine. Had you up at the house in the Adirondacks a couple of years ago. And we had a pontoon boat that we wanted to put some traction on, and we decided to go with your tough coat. And I think we even selected this color right here. And Captain Tony was telling me about, you know, a lot of these kids from the inner city, a lot of these uh, people have never been on a boat before, they've never fished before, and the current deck is very slippery. Even if it just rains, it, it gets slippery. You don't have to have fish blood on it or anything like that. And I was kind of recalling what we did on the pontoon boat, and I said, man, I think there's an awesome product that could really address those issues. We've also had other project boats built where we have put on these two-part marine paints, you know, where you add the catalyst and you add the reducer, 
and you can either suspend a non-skid agent like like silica sand into the paint or you can sprinkle it over top of the paint but paint on its own is really really super slick is it not you bet okay so if you don't add that silica sand you're not going to really get the traction but i've also taken a look at my own boats that have had this approach done to it bill and over time it kind of seems like I can never get the deck uniform in color anymore. It's kind of like that sand's popping through the paint. Is, is that in fact happening? Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. The sand is abrasive and sharp. So over time, it's going to pop through the paint. It's going to deteriorate the paint and leave little holes where the sand was. It's going to pop out or crush. Well, you know, there's a fishing boat, a charter boat, right next to the Good News boat. And I was looking at the top side gunnels, man. And you talk about paint and non-skid wearing away. You know, these guys are washing it and cleaning all the fish off and everything. It does kind of wear away. How is this tough coat different than marine paint with silica sand as non-skid kind of mixed into it? Because this, this gives you incredible traction. What is the material made from? Uh, this material is a, it's a polyurethane, water-based polyurethane, which we put rubber granules in. So the rubber actually goes all the way through the product. Okay, that's uh, what this is right here. These are these are rubber granules, and is this raw virgin rubber, or are you doing anything environmental here? Uh, it's recycled rubber we buy from the factories and have it ground our specs. Okay, and this over here, what, what is this, old tires that, that didn't go into a landfill? Yeah, we use recycled tires and have them ground, and we put them in our darker colors. Okay, so, so marine paint, that option, has uh, multiple components. You, you, you've got the paint base, you've got the catalyst, you've got reducers. How, how many parts make up tough coat and are there a lot of VOCs that come out of this when you apply it? Uh, tough Coat is a single component, uh, which we do put the rubber granules in, so it's got, uh, uh, everything is in the can when you buy it. There's zero VOCs, it's all water-based, there's no, no ki nasty chemicals in it. This is a water-based product? You bet, it's okay. eco-friendly. Now, you and I were looking at the condition of the deck and we saw some spider cracking into that epoxy paint. And my question here is, could we fill some holes? Could we fill some cracks with the Tough Coat? This stuff seems to be pretty thick. You bet. It's a nice thick material. It goes down about 30 mils and it'll cover spider cracks and, and slide imperfections in the gel coat. Okay, so this is really going to save us on a lot of labor, a lot of, a lot of work here. And it's flexible, so as the spider cracks move again, it won't crack again. Okay, now, now gel coat isn't the most flexible product out there. That's maybe why we're getting some spider cracks. And I know on epoxy paints, th th those can sometimes not be that flexible. And, and maybe as the boat's flexing, maybe that's why we're getting some cracking. But I just kind of really bent this stuff up, and it really comes back to life. It doesn't, it doesn't do any cracking at all. Now, is there any type of product, though, that we have to use to, to, to get the tough coat to stick to the deck? Yeah, you want to use our water-based primer. This is our CP10. You apply the primer down to the deck first. Wait about four hours and you can apply the tough coat to the top of it. How many different colors does this tough coat come in? And, and also, what did Captain Tony select? Uh, it comes in 21 different colors. Captain Tony selected the light gray, complements his boat well. It's a light color, so it'll stay a lot cooler. Okay. Now, I see that this gives us incredible traction, but it's also very comfortable. This isn't going to hurt your knee. This isn't going to hurt your bare foot. How, how much is tough coat compared to marine paint? Uh, it's about $1.60 a square foot to purchase the material and apply it yourself. Okay, so it's very reasonably priced. You bet. Where could somebody get this? Uh, go to toughcoatmarine.com. Awesome. Well, right now we need to take a very short time out, but keep it right here because when we come back, let's take everybody step by step of how we're going to transform this good news fishing ministry boat into a non-skid type of material that's going to be user-friendly for the kids that go out into the ocean. We'll cover it right after this. Who's using Tough Coat Marine for their boat decks? The Navy, the Coast Guard, commercial boats, fishing boats, pontoon boats, aluminum boats, and center consoles. Tough Coat Marine is cooler on your feet, rubberized for comfort, super durable, hides flaws and cracks, offered in 20 popular colors. Do it yourself, make it look better, last super long, all for less. If you're going to treat it tough, treat your deck with the world's number one rubberized non-skid, Tough Coat Marine. Available online or at these major retailers. You're tuned in to ShipShape TV, America's favorite boat improvement show. This is the non-skid material that we selected to kind of transform the deck on a 39-foot fishing boat today here at ShipShape TV. And we again have the privilege of having Bill Duffel on the program. And Bill Thank is you. the owner of Tough Coat Marine, and you're so welcome, sir. Where do we begin in actually doing this project? 
You want to make sure the deck is clean and free of any dirt and grease or oil. So we want to use some biodegradable soap, boat soap, some water, and we want to scrub that deck real you good. You bet. Okay. Now, do we need to dry the deck? You need the deck to be dry because your next step is going to be taping and sanding. You know, I was kind of seeing where the inside is splatter painted coming down to the gray deck. And there's a defining line. There's a decorative border going around a lot of the areas of the boat. And I'm thinking we can mask that off with some three inch wide masking tape. And the reason I'm going so wide here, Bill, is some of those radiuses, what we could do is we actually cover them with the masking tape and then we could come back with a razor blade and we could actually save a lot of time and effort in the taping process. But we do have quite a bit of masking to do around the boat. And also we're gonna be rolling on the tough coat, Bill. And I don't want any of the tough coat splashing up on the inside of the boat. I want to cover that splatter painting with some type of either masking plastic or masking paper. But I'm thinking here we, we've got to give the material something to bite into. How can we get tough coat to kind of bite into an existed painted deck? What you want to do is take a, about 100 grit sandpaper and you want to scuff the surface. You want to, you want to give it a profile. And what we also use a sanding pole. Sanding pole makes it easier. Uh, you can stand up and sand as opposed to being on your hands and knees. How much of this paint do we have to remove? Are we trying to get rid of all the paint or what? No, you're just trying to scratch it and scuff it. Okay, now we want to naturally make sure that we vacuum up any dust. We don't want it going into the water. But we're also going to have to wipe down the deck of any little tiny debris. And can I use acetone? Can I use denatured alcohol or what? You don't want to use any solvents. You just want to use plain water okay. and then dry it. Very good. So we've got it sanded. We've got everything kind of masked off. You were talking about a special primer that we needed to, to use to try to get the tough coat to really bite into the deck. What's that called again, and how do we mix it? It's our CP10 primer. It comes in uh, two gallon cans, half full. You would just dump one can into the other, stir it, then you would apply it with any 3 8 snap roller. OK. Now, how long does it take to cure? It takes about four hours to cure. You want to wait at least four hours, but no longer than three days. OK, I want everybody to take a look at this five-gallon bucket right here. Now, this, again, has the rubberized granules in it. That's the non-skid properties. And they can sometimes sink. So with a paddle wheel, we do want to resuspend all of that material into the mixture. But is there a special type of roller that we use to apply the tough coat? Because, again, we have rubberized granules in it. Yeah, you want to use one of our tough coat rollers. It's made with an open cell pattern to it, which actually takes the rubber granules and disperses them onto the surface. We had some spider cracking issues into the deck on that boat. We also had some holes. Could we mix up some additional tough coat and could we kind of pour it into those areas very thick in order to not have to do any uh, grinding or any type of a repair that way? You bet. And it'll put it down thicker and it'll self level if you poured it down in those little areas. What's the ideal amount of coats to put on a boat? Is it, is it one coat? Is it two coats? It's two coats. Two coats. Can yeah. you go more if you wanted to? You can go more. Very good. Again, how do people get Tough Coat? You go to toughcoatmarine.com. Fantastic. Bill, thanks you so bet. much. We need to pay the bills around here. That means we have to go to break. But keep it right here because when we come back, we're changing locations on you. We're going to head to Jupiter, and we're going to be dealing with a pressure-treated dock. We're going to show you how you can salvage a dock without having to replace the wood using a product called Tough Coat, and we'll cover it right after this. Don't pull the plug. The boats, the tools, and ShipShape TV will be back in a snap. Who's using Tough Coat Marine for their boat decks? The Navy, the Coast Guard, commercial boats, fishing boats, pontoon boats, aluminum boats, and center consoles. Tough Coat Marine is cooler on your feet, rubberized for comfort, super durable, hides flaws and cracks, offered in 20 popular colors. Do it yourself, make it look better, last super long, all for less. If you're going to treat it tough, treat your deck with the world's number one rubberized non-skid, Tough Coat Marine. Available online or at these major retailers. Welcome back. You're watching ShipShape TV, boat improvement made easy. What you're looking at is Bert yesterday pressure washing my neighbor's dock. It's really turned gray. It's really the, the pressure treated lumber has started to disintegrate. And what we want to do is instead of replacing it with expensive new pressure treated lumber, we want to coat it with tough coat and kind of fill in all the cracks and crevices and make it look great. And again, we have Bill Duffel on the program. And Bill, just before the break, we were putting on a primer onto that fiberglass deck. Do we need to prime 
my neighbor's dock before we put on the tough coat. Yes, you do. You would use the same primer, which is our CP10. That primer also works on concrete as well as fiberglass and wood. Okay, so once we prime this, you, you told us that our cure time is about five hours. Uh, we can go ahead and we can put on the tough coat, but I want to show everybody some of the deep cracks that we have in the pressure treated lumber. This is a very harsh environment down here in South Florida. We have salt water right here in the canal. We have very intense UV, Bill, and we also have extremely heavy rain showers, and that kind of washes out the grain on this wood. And if you're barefoot on a pressure treated dock, maybe you're at a marina or something like that, man, you can get splinters, it hurts, and this stuff is very expensive to replace. Will the material fill in? These, these are pretty severe cracks. Is it going to fill this in? Yeah, for the most part, it will. Uh, if it doesn't fill a larger crack, you can just uh, kind of drizzle some of the material down in there until it fills it, and it'll go ahead and harden and seal that, that crack. Okay, so you're telling me with the boat deck that you want to use like two coats. Do we want to use at least two coats onto this dock? Yes. Okay, now how long will the tough coat actually last? Because when you're talking about ripping up all this lumber, throwing it out, buying new lumber, cutting it size, screwing it down. That can be pretty expensive. How affordable is the tough coat versus to replacing a, a pressure treated uh, dock? Well, you're going to get about seven to 10 years out of the material, depending on the traffic. Uh, you're going to be about $1.60 a square foot, and you could probably do a dock like this in a day. Can you recoat the tough coat after that seven or 10 years? You bet. You okay. can just go right back over the top with one coat. Again, give everybody a resource to where not only can they kind of figure out what color tough coat they might want, but also application techniques. Give everybody like your website. It's uh, toughcoatmarine.com. Fantastic. Bill, thank you so much. You bet. Who's using Tough Coat Marine for their boat decks? The Navy, the Coast Guard, commercial boats, fishing boats, pontoon boats, aluminum boats, and center consoles. Tough Coat Marine is cooler on your feet, rubberized for comfort, super durable, hides flaws and cracks, offered in 20 popular colors. Do it yourself, make it look better, last super long, all for less. If you're going to treat it tough, treat your deck with the world's number one rubberized non-skid, Tough Coat Marine. Available online or at these major retailers. Hey, um, we are now in our 21-foot Seabird project boat, and I want you to take a look at the non-skid on this. This was painted with the silica thrown in, and we probably have four or five years of wear on this deck, and you can see that it is kind of uh, popping through the paint, but it is wonderful non-skid. There are a few ways to non-skid the boat. Uh, this is one of them, but we showed you a product today called Tough Coat, and I want you to take a look at the Good News fishing boat before we did anything, okay? It was slick. And the inner city kids, the military guys that they take out, people coming back from war, you know, they take a lot of people out into the ocean for free in order to kind of turn them on to our world, which I think is so awesome. But now here's the result of putting the tough coat. Here's the after. And I got to tell you, these guys are going to have traction. They're going to have confidence when they're walking around. Also, I want you to take a look at my neighbor's dock. This is before we started on it. This is the pressure treated lumber, okay? Well, we tough coated that, and I'm telling you, it looks like a million dollars. And we need to thank Bill Duffel, we need to thank Captain Tony, everybody in their ministry, okay, that's making all that happening. Uh, my guys, like always, thank you, Bird. Thanks, guys. Worked very, very hard. We had Bill McDaniel, we had Sarah on the program from Glen Raven. Also, those cool accessories for the dock from Tie Down. Man, wasn't that great? But most importantly, that's right, we've got to thank you. Thanks so much for hanging out with us right here on the beautiful water's edge for the last half hour, but we've got to go. But how about this? How about until we see each other again? Can you do yourself a favor? Can you get out there and make your boat or your dock ship shape? Of course you can. I'm John Graviscus. This is Bert Dell. We'll see you next time. So that water was a little chilly, huh? A little bit. Okay.